Today I'm gonna say the F word and it's something I haven't said in quite some months on this channel. I try to keep the channel clean, I try to keep it family friendly, but I'm just gonna say it. Free code camp, let's talk about it. Hello? Hey, what's up developers? It's Real Tough Candy here. I'm a self-taught web developer hanging out. It's a beautiful evening here in the park. Boys and ghouls, may I present to you the idea of free code camp in 2019. I'm shaking with adrenaline here. <laughs> this happens every time I do a video. Uh, even though I have one of these selfie stick majiga thingamajigs. Let's talk about this free code camp thing. Now, a few years ago, one of my earliest videos as Real Tough Candy, I produced a review on free code camp. I was a very frustrated newbie. Um, there was one portion, there was a JavaScript challenge, the Fahrenheit to Celsius challenge or Celsius to Fahrenheit challenge. I forget what it was exactly. Uh, that one really just for some reason triggered me and I said, okay, that's it. I'm doing a video It was getting a few thousand views a day and I finally had to put the video on private just because like after a year It really didn't represent me as a developer and it was just like a pretty immature video. It was pretty Pretty it was a pretty emotionally immature video now granted I have the emotional maturity of a broken toaster The best thing about that video was Quincy Larson the founder of free code camp I actually watched that video and he took me seriously. He, he took me serious He wrote this comment, you know, we're always trying to improve the platform and it, it was really validating, but then I was like really embarrassed So that's another reason why I made the video private. But anyways fast forward a few years I've had a few years time now to interact with all sorts of developers from very, very code newbie from Hatchling all the way to senior developers who've been in the business for 10, 15, 20 years. Um, and for some people, free code camp is a godsend because number one, it's free. You cannot compete with free. So for those who are on a really tight budget or you're not really sure if you want to do this thing. You're not really sure if coding's for you. I mean, all you're investing is a little bit of your time rather than $15 or $15,000 for an in-person code bootcamp. The other thing with free code camp is that it's going beyond just the tutorials. They have these built-in code playgrounds where you can test your code, you can break stuff and unbreak it and get your feet wet that way. They also have a bustling YouTube channel along with a pretty robust uh, forum for students. Um, I did an interview quite some months ago with a few self-taught web developers um, and one of the interviewees just really was passionate about Free Code Kevin Allen helped him. And his story is one of many where this platform has helped people. I've also met a few developers who have taken like a Udemy course and then pair it with Free Code Camp. And that's one of the big things, or the big benefits I think with Free Code Camp being free is that because it's free, it's portable and you're not locked into it. You, you don't feel that, that obligation of like, well, I paid $50 for it, I should finish it, or I should do it such and such a way. You don't have to do it such and such a way. You can take Colt Steele's coding bootcamp and then test your knowledge uh, with Free Code Camp's JavaScript section. Shout out to S. Morales. He's using that method or he has used that method and he works at Google. Um, so it's people of all abilities and of all job statuses. So my perception of Free Code Camp has really changed since I was a frustrated newbie. Uh, and looking back, I was frustrated at everything. Uh, it wasn't Free Code Camp's fault that I didn't know how to code. I was really hoping that Free Code Camp could be the one, the one and only, to show me how JavaScript algorithms work, to show me the difference, the actual difference between double equal signs and triple equal signs aside from just like a one sentence definition. The thing with Free Code Camp is that they don't have extensive documentation. It's not page after page after page of how this stuff works. They're more challenging you how to code rather than teaching you how to code. So very early on you have these challenges and let's be honest, getting through the HTML and CSS seems easy breezy and then we hit that JavaScript section we're like, ah! The JavaScript section is very tough for so many people and that's where I find most people giving up on it. Um, and their lack of documentation forces you to go elsewhere. And I think that's where a lot of frustration comes from because we are just desperate for this one-stop shop where we can learn how to do it, learn why it works like it does, and solve all of these problems. Their JavaScript section is like 300 hours worth of material. But I think for the average self-taught developer or the average newbie trying to become a self-taught web developer, 
using free code camp as a main platform does come with a lot of strings attached uh, because again it's mostly challenge based and they're having you code a lot but as far as knowing the theories as far as understanding you know execution stacks and all this kind of theoretical stuff you're not going to find it there and that's okay it doesn't have to be an all-in-one all-inclusive thing just take what you can use also, the community there seems to be really enthusiastic. I've never posted there, but I've lurked in quite a bit of a different posts just to see what the dynamic was like. There are a lot of positive people there uh, encouraging others. Some of my earliest, most popular videos were doing code walkthroughs of these JavaScript challenges that Free Code Camp, Free Code Camp gives you. There's like a blackjack challenge, different challenges, um, and I think they're great. They're great for practicing, uh, but as your first exposure to JavaScript and as your first exposure to computer programming, you're going to be on YouTube checking out how to solve these things. There is a reason those videos have thousands of views because so many people just get stuck once they hit JavaScript. Uh, and the HTML and CSS can be kind of tricky because HTML and CSS is very procedural and they're not programming languages. And worlds change and worlds collide when you start learning a programming language because it starts to become very abstract very quickly. And it's not just like throwing up an H1 and seeing a result. There's loops, there's conditionals, there's all these different programming things and JavaScript syntax and all this other stuff. Uh, so it's a very different, very different experience, and it can throw a lot of people off. All in all, I think Free Code Camp can help almost any developer. They've helped me in ways that I didn't think they could. Shout out to Bo Carnes. Uh, he's invited me on the channel twice, on their YouTube channel twice, to do videos. Um, you know, they're helping my career, and so I have to give a shout out to them. You know, a few years into my career, they're helping people in ways they may not have thought of initially. Um, and I think if you are considering becoming a developer, Consider Free Code Camp as a source, but not the only one. I think you might be missing out on quite a few opportunities just sticking with their ecosystem, but that can be said with any other thing. Uh, Andre Negoy, a great instructor on Udemy, but if you just stick with his like ecosystem, I abuse that word, but it's so apt in so many situations. If you just stick with him, you're missing out on different opportunities, different people, different challenges, different projects uh, elsewhere. So I think it's good to diversify whether you're doing free code camp or something else. I am not an angry aspiring developer anymore. So I've mellowed out and I can turn around and start assessing things I think more level headedly. Not that my review is the one and only you should abide by or listen to. And I said this on the channel before, if you're, even if it's me, you shouldn't just rely on one person to give you information or guide you. Ask different people. If you have a mentor, it's okay to have two. You know, that mentor, they're trying to help you and they're probably going to help you, but what's wrong with another one? What's wrong with another perspective? It's healthy to have multiple perspectives and then you'll be able to choose the one that fits your path the best. What are your thoughts on Free Code Camp? Especially you code newbies out there, I want to hear from you because this is a platform geared towards you. But I do want to hear everyone's thoughts uh, because if you're a self-taught developer, you've heard of Free Code Camp. You probably have an account there even if you've forgotten about it. So let me know your thoughts. This is the last video I'm going to do without a microphone. My patrons are so freaking awesome. They directly fund this channel and they just bought me a smartphone mic that's going to clip on right here in a few days. So yes, thank you guys so much. Again, you guys are directly funding this channel. Somebody asked me the other day, don't you have money to buy things with your salary or you know what you're doing? I'm like, I do, but the patrons are the ones who directly fund this channel. So your money is really appreciated and it's going to upgrade this channel. So rock on. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Selena, do you want to help me look at this book? You want to help me look at this book? Get your butt out of the camera. Come here. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of cold out there. It's kind of cold out there. Selena, can you get off my lap so I can do this video? Can you please move? Thank you. It's still kind of cold in here too.
Thank you.